in the row. Our king is going to free media. Your friend, your brother, Haji, Dr. Ocean can in the row. I just want to share some information that I have acquired through the security and police WhatsApp group. It is extremely useful and helps tremendously to communicate between security services and the police commissioner, the senior hierarchy of the police, and so on. But it's a very serious matter, and it has to do with uh, attempted murder, which possibly will gravitate to um, murder, maybe of mother and children. And uh, it is alleged that uh, certain members of uh, the police might have made a mistake. I want to give it that way, as an error. We have got to remember that domestic violence is a very serious affair. And I, res I remember in much time past, when a wife go to make a complaint against the husband, they will be told, uh, well, if you're killed, then we will take action. That was very ludicrous and very rude, and that is why I, as a friend of the police, at certain times I have to help to correct them a bit because the police are also human beings and sometimes they get tired. I know this the world over. One time I was told in Miami, the police, some, look, you got to do this and that and that by a, a head of a division because some police don't like to work. Um, and this is a situation here. Now, something happened. I saw this on the... Uh, today, the Saturday, the 31st. A young lady named uh, Kay uh, Dotson was attacked in her home by the father of her children who broke in. She was stabbed several times and was assisted to the GPHC, the public hospital where she was treated. She is now at Turkine Station, where she has made a report and signed her statement, which includes the name of her attacker and his home address. But it's being told that no action can be taken until the medical form is collected from the hospital. Later on, I see that she was told she can't loiter in the police station. A police station... Um, some men and women of the police force who don't understand. It's a refuge for the citizens of this country if they are in threat, if they are in confusion, and if they need help. It is unfortunate that if that is true, I don't know, I would like an investigation on this. I can't believe police people took the statement, gave her a medical form and tell her she has to leave that she can't loiter. Now, I'm sending this directly to the Commissioner of Police. And this is in the raw, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I'm actually in working clothes, working in my garden, doing my little bit of farming, while still doing my business and my social and human work. This will be going to the same gp.ss group, gp.p.s.s group, and I'm um, hoping that we'll get some action. I'm going to put it on uh, on Facebook and share it as much as possible to individuals that I have faith and I respect. There are many people in the Guyana Police Force and even former police officials that I hold in high respect. I'm sending this to the commissioner, to the deputy commissioners, and to the, to the crime chief, and to all I know. But we must remember... The police also has a welfare uh, a department which caters which caters uh, that for, for, for domestic violence. And this person should have been um, referred to that department, the Ministry of Human Services. And someone should have called and the Ministry of Human Services should be equipped with all the facilities and resources we have in this country and that's been ex expended, that this person and their children could have been picked up, protected, and taken, once they're convinced, to a place of refuge which the human services has for, for, for women and children who, who might be abused and are afraid of for their lives. So, with all my respects, I'm calling upon the 
commissioner of police, my, my, my respected uh, brothers of the police that I respect, uh, those on the GPSS group, and all uh, citizens of the country, I'm going to send this to the to the to the president. I'm going to send this to the VP. I'm gonna, I will send this to the Minister of Home Affairs. In my way, as a human being, as a security service provider, and a member of the group, and a conscientious citizen of this country, I'm doing my part. Your friend, your brother, me, Haji, Doctor Roshan Kaninda, raw in my working outfit, but doing my work in social media for helping our people and our women who are being abused. If this is true, it needs some investigation. Your friend, your brother, Haji Roshan Kang, say thank you. Farewell, friends.